Hey guys, okay, Mark Spitz here. Man. Today we're gonna take a look at a 20 pound box that I bought. It wasn't too expensive. I did a really good job of packing. Plenty, plenty of peanuts. Very nice. I always like to see peanuts because not only does that mean that well, the goods are probably good, no, no breakage, but you can also reuse these. And using the packing material from uh, I get from these boxes when I when I ship my own stuff, my own uh, sales is so so useful. I can tell you guys, get in touch. A garbage bag of these, which is about what it looks like I have, could cost you right forty dollars retail nowadays, at least twenty. Very nice. Uh, I'm not gonna. Sit here and pick out peanuts all day. That's not why you guys watch my stuff. I think that the bees are in a bag actually. So we've got what looks like a part of a candle holder here. I do believe that I'm looking at plate. Sterling by Boardman. So this is a sterling plate. I wasn't sure. Kind of hard to tell this one. Because I don't see very much uh, tarnishing patterns that would have uh, picked me up on. They have a sterling end. It didn't really feel different from plate, but fortunately it is marked. So already doing pretty good because this has got to be at least two ounces of silver. All it takes is you spend 40 bucks on a box. All it takes is just this and you're, you're even. It's exactly what you want to see right off the bat. So this looks like the Phillips house. I don't know what the Phillips house is to look it up, but it's Reed and Barton. It's got an H date right here, an H stamp, which is a candle. I don't know. We'd have to look it up to see when they made it. This appears to be a tiny little fish. Oh, you see that? That's a little plant stamp. That's E.G. Webster. And it's marked International Silver as well, which also makes sense because, well, International Silver um, bought out E.G. Webster. Um, I'm seeing damage right here. Even if it wasn't damaged, this is kind of a hotel sale anyway. So I did notice these cups. I was excited because I thought they might be sterling or real, but it looks like they're all Gorham. Gorham EPY535. And also it looks like another date stamp. There's a couple of them, so they, they still might be worth something as a set for like tumblers or something like that. It's probably all the same. No? Okay, this one's marked E. Choice, Choice Field, Baltimore. Country Club. Monterey Country Club, 1940 men's golf winner, third eight. Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting, didn't expect to see that. A lot of times you just get weird things that you never expect. Here's another Gorm, Gorm Tumblr. This date mark is a hammer, so it's different. It's made on a different date, year, than, than the other one. Not that that should matter. Oh. I've seen these before. Kind of tough sale. Kind of like the modern look. 
though I haven't really tried to sell very many of them. Don't see a maker on this. Oh well. It's not a huge deal, but I'd expect the maker to be reading a barn, probably. Why some of these balls? I was hoping they'd be heavy silver. It's possible. I'm feeling... I'm seeing tarnishing patterns that are good. Okay. Uh, S. Kirk and Son Sterling. Now, there's a good amount of these in the box, so... Imagine I did okay. I remember seeing three or four. They're all... They're all real. No, this one's... Wow. I thought they were... They were the same, but... This one's plate. It's still stiff, though. But this one's marked silver plate. And... These two are sterling. That's, that's a surprise. The, the same pattern. Oh, well, this one's plate. This one's sterling. You guys see kind of like the difference? Here we've got more of these purplish cherry looking tarnish patterns. You're seeing how copper ends up looking on a lot of silver plate. And here, sterling is more mottled brown. So you're really, you're really looking for that. It's not a perfect, it's not a perfect rule though. So just remember that it's, it's not perfect, but you're, you're trying to put the odds in your favor. And you can see that with a, with a better eye, if I had seen closer pictures of this too, you're also looking for dents and damages because sterling silver is, is, uh, it's quite a bit malleable, so oftentimes you'll see dents and bumps. Or bruises in, in real silver. And that can also give you a, an idea that what you're looking at is possibly real. There's also three pieces of real silver. Okay, so we've got it. A hammered silver plate piece by Regent Barn here. So that hand hammered, a hammered finish. That's not really a huge deal, but it might go for. It might sell because somebody likes the look, I guess. Wouldn't ask for it in like 10 bucks or 15 bucks for that anyway. This was a candle holder. I liked it. Candle holders can sell. Just ask, ask for a cheap amount. They'll move eventually. The thing I find that I do is I ask too much for things like base small candle holders. They sit around a lot and then once I... Once I do this kind of thing, it moves. So yeah, oh, they were base now, but no. It could be sterling silver. Could be sterling silver weighted. Let's see. Uh -huh. This, these are marks I am quite unfamiliar with, but I do think I see the key. That, that means Sheffield. Obviously it's plate, since we see brass. The silver has been, been eaten through the brass. But, this could mean old Sheffield plate. There's a crown here too. Crown. It's like a weird face. It looks like a little, like a critter. I don't know. I don't quite know what to think of this yet. I have to do some research. But if it's old Sheffield plate, I didn't know that they used brass for old Sheffield plate. I thought they used copper. And there is some copper showing right here though. Hmm. I guess my point is don't 
don't dis disregard something just because it's it's not silver. If you if you also don't know what it is, because it could be something special, just because it's not silver. As long as if you don't see like a mark you're used to seeing that you know is is like lower quality, like gold ginger. You know, Gorum. If you see Gorum, you know what you're looking at, but this, I have no idea what I'm looking at, so I have to do some, uh, some digging. You guys, so I got meat platter over here. Nothing too special. scrappable piece to me. We got copper shining through, so it's gonna be hard and so black star. Gorum? I was gonna scrap it, but Black Star Gorum. This means this is old. It's still pleat. But it could still but it could find a collector. Cause uh I do believe that Black Star, Star and Black made made Sterling for Gorum, but this, this is not Sterling obviously. Given the maker and this kind of like, this piece kind of connects it to a, a certain time of Gorum's history, I think it's not trash. Um, so look at that. Oh, cute little cool girl stuff, I think. Cordials. Those are cute, but... Another one too, and they're, uh, down with themselves. Another, another one of these Gorham tumblers. I mean... Little napkin rings. Okay, I got the Western theme going on here. This is an easy sale if you ask for the right price. So I do like finding these kinds of things because they're kind of like... They're kind of bo box sweeteners, I consider them. If you ask maybe 10 bucks on Etsy or Poshmark or something like that where people like to find themes this will sell. Kind of nice. This piece is uh, guaranteed for the life of the article. Maston, Maston Silver Co? Never heard of Maston Silver Co. What the heck? What do y'all think of these? They're weird. They like they treated these somehow. These are like hand hammered. Kind of odd. I don't know if this is very cheap or something more than that. They're unmarked, which really sucks. So it feels like they they were made with, with care. Hmm, I don't know. 
Okay, so I'm seeing this, and this is just screaming out Sterling. But no, I don't think so. Hmm. Uh, no, I think it's. I think there's a better chance that it's played. But if it is Sterling, it wouldn't surprise me. I wouldn't be like shocked. But I think it's EPNS. Kind of see. Okay, you can kind of see some brass right here. Nickel. Nickel is yellow. When it when it starts to shine through something. Definitely not. W C W Co Nickel Silver As if we've got a squirrel three hump crown thing? I don't know. This could be worth something. When I say worth something, I mean like worth more than scrapping it. That's practically my very low by relatively low uh, standards when it comes to silver plate. Sorry right, guys. So I think that's the entire box. So I have an interesting one here. Found it at least my my box worth of sterling silver. I have the invoice here and it looks like I paid thirty-eight. 76 for this. Not too bad. Just a lot of, a lot of volume to get through though. That well, makes it tough. Alright, so this is the part of the video where I do a sterling weigh-in. My favorite part of looking at a box. Here. So, uh, 15.2 ounces at 20 bucks. I only say it's $20 an ounce because that's about what I'll be paid for because my scale, number one, it only shows regular ounces and they they price at silver and gold in troy ounces. So it's a little bit heavier, about 10% heavier than a regular ounce. So when we're seeing 15.2 ounces on that scale, it's more like, more like 13 and a half, a little bit more than 13 and a half uh, troy ounces, almost 14 ounces of troy ounces, I would imagine. And uh, you, you gotta remember that sterling silver is only 90% of that spot price, plus you will usually get about 85 to 90% silver spot price when you try to sell sterling. So, there you go. And these things, they might go, they might go above melt, a melt value because of the pattern, if it's desirable, then all that can go out the window. You can get a bit of a premium on your silver. That doesn't happen that often because people don't usually use silver the way they used to. Got around 300, 320 bucks in silver. Currently, silver is poking its head around 25 bucks. So not bad for a $38 investment. And we still got some of my pieces that I can easily see sellable. I need to uh, look up that candle holder. That really is quite a mystery to me and quite interesting. Alright, well, that's it for uh, today's video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And leave some comments for me. Good marks, get out.